All right, here we are. Welcome to the Industry Rumble 6 on the 16th of November 2018 at the ABA in Auckland, New Zealand. This is proudly brought to you by Glossier Promotions promoter Bruce Glossier. Joined with you tonight at Glad Rap Channel, Isaac Savage and the man himself just left to me. Benji Watt. Welcome aboard, Benji. Thank you. It's gl I'm very happy to be here in this hot ABA stadium. It's been an amazing night so far. It's certainly been a sweller and a scorcher in the ABA tonight. You know, I have to point out the thick, swollen headgear has returned in the blue corner. Look, uh, I didn't want to see that uh, headgear return and it's made an infamous return. But moving on to the fight, Vitaya out of the blue corner and Cameron Prince there in the red. 70.7, that is a little bit above Super Welter under middleweight. Look at this, you know, we've got Vatia there in the blue looking ready to go, but make no bones about it, Cameron Prince is looking composed and we are going to have a bit of a stylistic matchup here tonight, Benji. Well, the swollen headgear won last time. I wonder if it's going to win this time. Well, hey, look, it could be a good luck charm because the last guy that wore it certainly won. And look at this. Nice jabs come out there. Whoa, and, and ducking out of the way of that punch. Oh, look, look. It's a return of the hand. It could be a similar technique to the tank earlier on in fights. He didn't hold it out to... Oh, oh. big body shot there from oh, Pataya. Nice little shot as well. A little right hook to... Trying to read the back of his shirt, see what his nickname is. Hooligan. Retire there in the blue. Prince in the red. Just to clarify that a little bit more, Vitaya's all in white with the blue gloves and Prince in all black with the red headgear. The hooligan. The hooligan. Now a little bit like... Keeping him oh, oh body shot, shot there from Vitaya. And Hogan's trying to get away. Not the liver, but to the kidney. And that was beautifully landed, but didn't it seem to affect the hooligan? Big right looping left hook there from the tyre. Prince getting out of the way of that. No problems at all. It looks like hooligan looks like the younger boxer between the two. Oh, beautiful. One, two, got out of the way. Oh, Vitaya just coming and launching. But notice that Hooligan actually had some good uh, head movement. Managed to get away from possibly an uppercut that was thrown. Dangerous puncher to there, Vitaya. Look, you've got to watch out for ones like that. You can get caught any second. But the Hooligan keeping out of reach and harm's way. And again, like, he did the little hand thing himself. Look at two, the Vitaya's really good at closing that distance, so he'll come forward so quick, he'll close the gap within milliseconds. This but is going to be dangerous for Vitaya. If he keeps on throwing and missing, he's going to tire himself out. Whoa, big shot there, missing. Look, Hooligan's so good at getting out of the way of those shots. Can he do it, though, for the next two rounds? What a round, Benji. It was a good round, but I just can't help but look at that big head gear. I'm sorry, it's... it's it it's doesn't seem to be having effect on this fighter, though, at all tonight, Benji. No. Regardless of your obsession with that swollen headgear. I'm sorry, it's it's so big. It doesn't look like a normal headgear. It's yep. obviously but like... It's, it's, as I said, it's not affecting this fighter tonight as we go into round number two. You know, it's almost like you give that headgear to those uh, boxers that have like those giant gloves, you know what I mean? As uh, we said earlier in the fights, this will be a good call out to New Zealand boxing gyms, trainers, coaches across New Zealand to invest in headgear. As we look at the crowd tonight, everyone's having a lot of fun at these tables at this corporate fight night at the ABA on Glossier Promotions. Here we are, round number two, Vitaya in the white, the hooligan, Prince, well Cameron Prince there in the red gloves, all black. Now the just seeing how things are at the moment, feeling each other out in the second round. Oh, swing and a miss, it's going for baseball. Oh, oh big shot there big from Vitaya the coming in like an animal. Now it's a brawl. Hooligan's coming in. Hooligan! 
How are these guys still standing? Look at Vitaya coming forward. This is a barroom brawl scene, Benji. Look at that big looping left hook. And the referee uh, breaks him apart. How can you not love this action? This is toe to toe. These guys are slugging it out, leaving no gas in the tank. Will we see another baseball action swing in the miss, or will we actually see a cut? He actually almost went for the one two, but missed both punches. You know, if the tie was facing a less experienced boxer, they would have been on their back by now. But Hooligan's so good at getting out of harm's way of the tires, vicious and wild shots. Well, exactly. This is what uh, good matching is. One boxer is like throwing and throwing and throwing, and the other boxer is like using their defense. Big shot there, but low, kind of hit the gloves. One thing Vitaya could do is, is edge forward, throw a low, then throw a high. Could it catch the hooligan off guard? Potentially. But hooligan's so good at, at, at you know judging that distance, and he's even holding out the glove or guard there now. Potentially. The, the return of the glove. As we call, said before, smell my finger. Ten seconds to go in the second round. I'm not entirely sure who's Just winning this round. Maybe, there. maybe hooligan for exceptional defence Hooligan looking ready to rock and roll he's, he's, he's looking like he doesn't even want to break he just wants to come back out for round number three so they got the ice on the chest and the ice on the back of the hull, of, um, of the blue corner the, the, t- the tyre Probably just to cool him down, try and not get him to overheat in this heat. We've got an action packed, packed to the rafters fight down here at the ABA at Glossier Promotions Industry Rumble 6. Fight number what 10. What a night it is tonight, Ben. Yeah, it's been an amazing night. This is fight number 10, our 16. We're seeing everything tonight. We are seeing it all. We're seeing knockdowns, wild punches, punches and bunches, ring girl dancing. And here we go for round number three. Is this going to go the distance? Or is someone going to close this off before that de- uh, that bell rings? I wonder if the tyre has actually got gotten quite tired because he has been throwing and missing a lot. Oh, no, he isn't. He's just, just as you said that, he's coming forward. He's got gas for weeks. Rocking. Cameron Prince. Again, it's that swing and a miss. Probably going to make him tired. I swear these boxers can hear us sometimes. Every time we say something, something changes. You never know, Benji. You never know. But it's just the way we're calling it as well. Look at the way the tire there. He just can't catch Hooligan in the third and final. Hooligan's certainly picking up on some of the moves that the tire looping left hook they're just missing well Hooligan actually did a jab before and almost looked like the head get moved yeah. everyone's chanting Cameron the Hooligan everyone excited to see how he goes sucking in some big air or gas was air then as he loads up just keeping out of the range there still of the tire the tire just coming forward Waiting for that and going for that kill shot there, Benji. Despite being on the back foot from the hooligan, apart from now, um, he had exceptional defence and he was still landing those punches, kind of like almost a Floyd Mayweather without the whole little theatrics. Oh, <laughs> see that? Just as you said that, look at the hooligan. Whoa! Pataya launching him and pushing him away. Hooligan's had enough. He wants to start bringing the fight to him now. 10 seconds to go. Who wants this? Is uh, the the tyre going to be able to close it off? Is the hooligan going to keep out of harm's way? Oh, what a shot. Whoa, what a fight, Benji. I think hooligan has won this. He had such great defence. As we know by judging, they judge it by aggression, defence, general ringship, and punches landed. He had amazing defense. He dodged those fo- uh, punches and landed some clean ones himself. 
but at the same time, Matia, he landed a lot of heavy punches this then. Let's see how the judges see it. Here we go for the official decision. Dan Hennessy ringside. This is amazing matchmaking right here. This is what we want to see. No one hurts and an amazing fight. There you go. Defense trumped over aggression. And of course, the swollen headgear loss. You just couldn't keep away from that one, could you? Benji? Well <laughs> deserved there from Cameron Prince out of the red corner. What a fight. Certainly clinical display there from the hooligan. He jabbed, stuck a move, got a harm's way, because if he had a, tried to stand and bang, he may not have finished the round. Yeah, exactly. And he would have been in trouble if he stood still, but he certainly did a great job. Certainly one to watch, though, Benji. I like what I saw tonight from the hooligan, and I'm looking forward to future fights. Maybe an amateur career. <laughs>